I think I'm in love, but I've been feeling otherwise These flutters in my stomach aren't butterflies But cutting knives and not the butter kind And if you listen close when she begins to speak You'll hear a couple hundred sighs in the collective shut of eyes Letters linger on her lips like lullabies I think I've drowned a couple times inside her opal colored eyes She could do something as simple as sit down with the grace of Olympic dives A perfect ten photo shutter finish on her cocoa butter thighs Catch her wearing loose pajamas on a Sunday And she'd overshadow any supermodel on a runway When she wakes up in the morning she smells like vanilla essence and a bittersweet recollections of your adolescence summer camp and piano lessons and presents you got on birthdays orange creamsicles and double plays on first base and walk past her in the halls and if your shoulders feel the slightest brush you might melt to liquid gold the lightest kind of Midas touch I've seen the way she drinks espresso during classes and reshapes a paper cup into an emerald covered chalice sugar packets pouring crystals napkin origami cranes gunning gorgeous glances to me through her Giorgio Armani frames she's nearly perfect in almost every way but she's got shit taste in movies ask her for her favorite titles and she always likes to say she's down to go see anything by Shyamalan or Michael Bay and also she's a psycho in the kitchen it's a travesty what kind of fucking monster cooks their pasta in a microwave and she does this thing where she corrects your grammar if it's wrong and clicks her tongue and winks and shoots a playful finger gun as if she's won some sort of contest Empress Victor of a conquest Mrs. Armchair Shrink let me fix you with a comment Princess kick you when you're down worship her to a godhead it seldom happens that she listens to my voice and doesn't chime in quick with uns Solicited advice, an unapologetic tyrant, a passive aggressive rivalry. Ask her a question and catch a handful of sass and irony. And trust me, really, she is just the worst of board games. Debates about the rules like legislators at a court case. Tampers with the scales of justice, wielding pencils as her gavel. Once I even caught her cheating while she kept the score in Scrabble. She's a fucking record checker, plays Monopoly sloppily. Always bringing up disputes and games of trivia pursuit. Sucks at battleship and risk, she fights better hand to hand. And don't even get me started about how trash she is at Candyland. Like, you can't, like, you can't be bad at that game, yet you you lose all the time. It doesn't make any sense. But I'm no Adonis either. Fashion sense abysmal, I've got two Nirvana t-shirts that I wear to formal outings and I've never owned a cardigan. Catch me buying cargo pants at Target from the bargain bin. Drink milk straight out the carton, use my hands to scoop out margarine. Breakfast table etiquette makes up our morning arguments and I'm not a glass half full kind of guy. Shipwrecked flags half masked hull kind of guy. I never was an optimist, not too good at compromise. The problem is my ego's far too fragile to apologize. But she always calls me out and takes me down a couple pecks too. It's always nice to have somebody close to double checks you and honestly we wouldn't be ourselves if we were different yeah she's clumsy and i'm stupid those are things that we can live with being perfect is unrealistic either way i like our flaws the way i crack my knuckles off in the obnoxious way she yawns the way i stutter when i flirt because i'm not very good with courtship the way she's gotta pee the first 10 minutes of a road trip how when she cuts her pancakes it's in slices not in squares the way my daily coffee intake is a crisis i'm aware the way i talk in crowded theaters the way she parks in parallel the way she goes through pints of ben and jerry salted caramel